Hi, my name is Scott Cochran. I'm the president of Spartanburg Methodist College, and I want to thank you for inviting me to participate in your virtual career day. Uh, my goal is to tell you a little bit about my job and, and how I got here and, and what the role entails. Uh, the president of a college is the chief executive officer, the CEO of the college, which means they're responsible for everything that happens within campus and within the whole confines of the educational process. Typically, when you decide that you want to have a career in higher education, you start out as uh, either in administration, which is a staff job, or you start out in the faculty, which is a teaching job. And many presidents come from the faculty. And what that entails is after you go to your four-year college, then you go on to get in a graduate degree in a particular field of study. You go into a college or a university and you start teaching in the classroom. And then after a few years, you decide that you want to work in administration. And administration is about making policy and deciding the direction of a college and how the curriculum, how the classes are going to be taught, how the school is going to be operated. And there are a number of different areas within administration that you can work. That can be on the academic side of administration, the dean of a college or an administrator of a college, or you can work on the staff side in student development, or in fundraising or in admissions, which many of you maybe will be dealing with soon with college, the admissions process. And so as you go through those uh, activities, you, you learn what you like about a college and the work in it, and you learn what you might not like. Uh, the pr traditional path is you go from, in a very abbreviated path, uh, you go from the classroom into an administrative role, let's say uh, an associate dean or a dean of a college, and they're responsible for a particular area of a college you can have dean of academics, you can have dean of student affairs, and, uh, and then you decide, you know, maybe I'd like to look at how I uh, can have an opportunity to be a president one day. Um, the process for going through the presidential search is very long. It's not like a traditional job interview where you take your resume and you, you submit it, you get called in for an interview, and then you either get hired or you don't get hired. Uh, the process is much different. Uh, it is a very long process. Typically, it can be anywhere from uh, 9 to 12 months when you submit your interest in a position. Uh, you have a resume or a CV, Curricula Vita, which is, um, tells everyone what you have accomplished over your career. And your CV is reviewed. Uh, your resume is reviewed. Um, there are several interviews. They decide the search committee decides, well, do we want to talk to this person? Do they look like they may be a fit for our college? And once you go through the entire process, there's uh, interviews on campus. You meet with faculty and staff uh, and students, and they decide, do they think this person's a fit or not? And then the search committee makes a recommendation, and the person is chosen. Now, that's a very uh, simplistic way of looking at things, but it's, it's very important to understand a couple of things that happen uh, in the college presidency and you know, what tools you need in the college presidency in order to make yourself um, an effective administrator. Uh, the biggest thing you need to have is, is you need to have the ability to communicate and understand strategy and how you wanna move an organization from one area to another. And, and you need to also understand leadership. Uh, leadership is something that is developed over time. And I like to say a successful leader is someone who is very good at getting a diverse group of people unified towards a common goal. Uh, it sounds, sounds vague, but it's very, very important in the college presidency. Um, it's a great job. Uh, it, is, it is very rewarding to see the, the, the process of a student coming into college four years later, leaving with a diploma, moving into a career field that they absolutely love and that they can thrive in, that can give them a great way of life, and knowing that you, as part of an administrative team, has had a small hand in that. So um, the, the role of a president is one of a general manager. Uh, it's a long road to get there. You typically don't do that after uh, one or two years. Uh, before I became a president, I was 30 years working in different roles and different jobs, both in private business and in higher education. So it's a long road. It's a very rewarding road. Uh, and it's something that I think if you work really hard in your classroom now, and you work really hard in your college and your graduate schools and you start to study and develop leadership skills, you've got a great shot at it. Uh, again, Scott Cochran, president of Spartanburg Methodist College. Uh, congratulations on your journey through education. I would love to get to meet you one day and I hope you have a fantastic year.